Hello, we are discussing about gate 1994 ECE paper and this question is related to digital circuits. Synchronous counters are dash than ripple counters. Synchronous counters are faster than faster than ripple counters. So synchronous counters are very fast that implies nothing but synchronous counters have less propagation delay compared to ripple counters. Okay, so this can be proved if you are going to be looking at the constructional details of synchronous counters as well as ripple counters. The other name for the ripple counters is asynchronous counters. Okay, so we will see the constructional details. So these are 4 bit synchronous counter and 4 bit asynchronous counter. So if you are going with first one, okay, this is what? 4 bit ripple counter. This figure is nothing but this first one is 4 bit ripple counter and the second one is 4 bit uh, synchronous counter. So 4 bit ripple counter if you are going to be checking this SW1 implies nothing but simply it is called as clear function. So all the flip flop will be cleared asynchronously with the help of this input. We are only interested in the clock. Okay. So this is the clock. This is original clock. Actual clock is uh, Con connected to the LSB flip flop and the next flip flop is going to be clocked from the output of uh, LSB flip flop similar way. So in ripple counters the original clock is going to be only given to LSB flip flop and all other flip flops are going to be clocked from that is they will get clock from the previous stage output. So previous stage output is going to be act as clock for the next stage like this as you are looking at this is the output of the previous stage that is now acting as clock for the next stage and output of this stage is acting as clock for the next one similarly so this is what here the clock is going to be provided from the previous stage except for the LSB flip flop where the LSB flip flop clock is directly from the original clock if you are looking at the synchronous counter okay this is clock now clock is going to be connected to all flip flops it is a 4 bit counter that is internally it consisting of 4 flip flops all those 4 flip flops are going to be clocked with original clock ok so for the given values of j and k generally what we expect is nothing but output will change ok whenever we are saying we know that one jk flip flop jk flip flop truth table is nothing but jk flip flop truth table this is q plus is next state jk is going to be inputs we know that one whenever j is equal to 0 k is equal to 0 next state is nothing but same as present state and whenever 0 1 it is reset state whenever it is 1 0 it is set state and whenever it is 1 1 at that time it is complement state ok this is what the truth table of jk flip flop we know but how far this truth table is going to be right and how can we say that when the propagation delay is going to be less in case of synchronous counters than ripple counters ok if you given let us assume q is equal to 0 and j is equal to k is equal to 1 you have given what will be the expected that is what will be your next state q plus is 0 or 1 0 or 1 which is going to be the right answer from this table you can say that when q plus is equal to 1 but you can say q plus is equal to 0 if no clock edge are appeared if no clock edge is given at that time it is going to be storing the same as previous information if clock edge given that is nothing but q plus will be complement of present state only upon clock edge upon the application of clock edge so output will change only upon the application of clock edge remember that one ok so if you apply clock edge by that time if j is equal to k is equal to 1 then the output will change since you have applied the clock edge output will be complement of present state present state is 0 so that it is going to be getting complemented and output will be 1 and let us assume you are applied j is equal to 1 k is equal to 1 but you are not applying the clock pulse if you are not applying the clock pulse at that time output won't change that's why only jk are going to be called as synchronous inputs they will always in synchronous with clock that is nothing but they will always have effect on the output only upon the clock edge they will always be operated with the help of clock edge so now we will see this is 4 bit counter 4 bit counter implies nothing but it can have states from 0 0 0 to till 1 1 1 1 so total 16 states it can have 
so the number of states possible for a 4 bit counter is 00002111 for example we are going with a intermediate state like this worst case propagation delay let us assume we are going with 0111 is the present state now it is going to be changing to 1000 okay so this has to be changed from this one so at present the outputs are going to be 0111 and next here we are going with 1000 state by that time what is the indication of this one if you are going with this is going to be q0 q1 q2 q3 like this at that time all flip flop outputs are going to be changes all flip flop outputs has to change to change from 01111 to 1000 so in case of synchronous counter since clock is connected to all flip flops at a time for the application of one clock pulse itself okay if you apply the clock pulse itself previously if it is at 0 1 1 1 one state by that time it will change towards okay it will change towards 1 1 because you are applying the clock edge for all so that it will change 0 1 0 0 and 0 it will change like this so in case of synchronous counters one single clock pulse is going to be sufficient as you are providing the clock pulse for all the flip flops okay so that all flip flops can change their states depending on the inputs so to change from 0111 to 1000 it requires a single clock pulse for a synchronous counter whereas for this one okay if you are going to be looking at lsb all are going to be negative edge flip flops so that this lsb flip flop is going to be changes when clock is going to be changes from when clock is changes from 0 to 1 state that is 1 to 0 state 1 to 0 state so and this flip flop second flip flop is going to be clocked that is nothing but whenever it is nothing but q of previous stage okay that is nothing but l1 we are going with l1 whenever it is changing from 1 to 0 okay and l2 that is l3 will changes whenever l2 changes from 1 to 0 because l2 is now clock for this flip flop l3 is clock for this one so whenever l3 changes from 1 to 0 that is nothing but your clock the original clock has to make a change okay so that l1 is changing from 1 to 0 and l2 is changing from 1 to 0 and again that has to change over here that should make l3 to 1 to 0 so your clock is going to be rippling like this your clock is rippling in this way your clock is going to be having ripple in this way so that implies nothing but it requires four clock cycles that is nothing but four uh, propagation delays it requires four tpds whereas it requires a single tpd since it is four bit triple counter it requires minimum of four propagation delays minimum of four unit propagation delays if it is eight bit triple counter at the time that requires minimum of worst case propagation delay is nothing but eight propagation delays eight unit propagation delays whether it is going if it is 32 bit triple counter at that time it requires 32 number of clock pulses to get the stable state otherwise 32 unit propagation delays it requires whereas in case of synchronous counters whether it is 8 bit or 32 bit or 64 bit a single clock pulse that is nothing but a unit propagation delay is sufficient okay sometimes you may be adding this gate delays but doesn't that doesn't have much effect okay some extra gate delays will be added for the unit propagation delay but that will be very very small compared to the ripple counter propagation delay so propagation delay of ripple counter to get a stable state is very very high if it is n bit at that time minimum of n propagation delays it requires okay whereas for synchronous counters whatever the n it requires only a single propagation delay along with some gate delays okay so based on this one propagation delay is very high for the ripple counter is nothing but uh, synchronous counters are going to be faster ripple counters are going to be slow so that synchronous counters are faster than ripple counters we can say in this way thank you